Welcome everyone. In this video, we'll learn about the yogic siddhis or powers. Siddhis refer to the supernatural powers attained through mastering the hatha yogic practices. There are eight powers mentioned in our scriptures. Hence, it is often called Ashta Siddhis. At the end of this video, I'll share my view on Siddhis, different from what is mentioned in the scriptures, which gives an interesting perspective about these powers. So let's begin. In the sacred text, Bhagavath Puran, Lord Krishna mentions various ways to gain supernatural powers or Siddhis. These include doing Hatha Yoga consistently, practicing the postures or yoga asanas, controlling your breath through practices like pranayama, maintaining self-control, and meditating. Another method involves awakening kundalini, the divine power within your body. It's emphasized that guidance from a guru is crucial in achieving these powers. Following a purely vegetarian diet is recommended during practice and even after gaining these abilities. To succeed, your mind and body should be clear to focus and meditate. In yoga philosophy, Balance and harmony in life are emphasized, promoting not just physical practices, but also mental and spiritual well-being for a holistic approach to attaining these extraordinary powers. Now, let's see what these powers are. Patanjali, an ancient sage, wrote about eight supernatural powers known as Siddhis in the third chapter of his book, Patanjali Yoga Sutras. First is Anima, the ability for a yogi to become incredibly small even as tiny as an ant, or completely invisible. Second is Mahima, the power for a yogi to grow immensely large, potentially tearing through clouds and appearing as if reaching the sun. Third, Laghima, making the body extremely light, like a feather or cotton, enabling the yogi to levitate or walk on water. Fourth, Garima, gaining an extraordinarily heavy body, similar to a mountain, by swallowing air. Fifth is Prapti. The yogi can change objects from one state to another, predict the future, possess clairvoyance, clairaudience, telepathy, thought reading abilities, understand unknown languages, communicate with animals, and heal diseases. Sixth, Prakamya. The power to enter the body of another, known as Parakaya Pravesh. Seventh, Vashitvam. The ability to tame wild beasts, control people through willpower, and restrain emotions, passions, and elements. And last is Ishatvam, attainment of divine power, turning the yogi into the lord of the universe, capable of restoring life to the dead. Now let's talk about someone exhibiting these powers. The epic Ramayana tells us about the great Hanuman who showcased these amazing powers or Siddhis. He was a celibate, showing self-control, incredible strength, and unmatched knowledge. He gained the divine knowledge of the Vedas from the sun god. Hanuman is a devoted follower of Lord Rama. Even today, in India, people recite the Hanuman Chalisa daily to ward off evil and overcome life's challenges. Hanuman received a boon to live as long as Lord Rama's name was chanted, making him a Chiranjivi, meaning immortal. It is said that even now, God Hanuman always appears where Ramayana stories are shared in communities. Now, in my understanding of yoga philosophy, I see humans as a mix of nature and energy or soul, having both spiritual and materialistic aspects. Yoga, beyond just physical exercises, helps unlock the full potential of nature and soul. Spiritual awakening and self-realization come from mastering yoga, thanks to the presence of the soul. Siddhis, or supernatural powers, result from mastering yoga due to the influence of nature. I believe these powers are like tapping into the characteristics of various species in nature. For instance, having the abilities of tiny organisms represents the power of anime, while flying or levitation corresponds to lagama. In summary, yoga is crucial for overall well-being, and it also grants us extraordinary powers. Feel free to explore and see if this resonates with your experiences. Please share your thoughts on Siddhis in the comments. I'd be interested to hear your views. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more information on yoga and spirituality. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sattvic, 